Hello and welcome to this week's editing session. Um, today we're doing it a bit differently. I've already edited the pictures this time uh, and uh, well we're just going through them and I'm gonna talk you through the changes that I did and why I did them. Uh, I think doing it this way is gonna make the video a lot shorter so that <laughs> well you have time to look through it all uh, because when the video reaches about well almost an hour long it's really hard to find the time even if you wanted to watch everything so yeah let's dive straight into it the first picture which is actually this one uh, is a HDR merge here in Lightroom of these three images so I have the highlights or I have the shadows rather um, a bit of an overexposed picture a normal picture and then a really dark for well the Sun so the merch looks something like this at first and after I edited it it looks something like this the things that I did is to push down the white balance a little bit because I'm gonna bring out more of the golden light that I wanted to picture in Photoshop later and the other thing I did was bring up the exposure it was really dark before so I brought up the exposure to a more normalized level then I flattened the image out a little bit um, and uh, yeah I, <laughs> that's basically what I did I added Quite a bit of dehaze as well just to bring out well let me show you without the dehaze you can see it's just really hazy <laughs> so I brought a use that to bring out the dehaze I used the well lens correction uh, or I didn't use the lens correction because well I didn't think it added too much to the image I thought it brought, took away from the image rather than add anything here with a rock so I left that off uh, well without uh, and also I reduced the detail that I usually do uh, and well it's not too much else that I actually did with this picture in Lightroom so after I finished it in Lightroom I opened it in Photoshop and it looked something like this and the first thing I did was to well heal some of the spots uh, dust spots and things and I also removed some of the well <laughs> ugly parts in the water so you can see these highlights I removed them as well so it looks something like that then I jumped into color effects pro and I applied a few different things just to give the image a bit more pop but I kind of overdid it so I brought down the opacity then I added in a skylight filter in color effects that really brought out that golden, golden light that I had uh, earlier and I applied a mask and, and uh, took out some of it in the sky and in the water then I dodged and burned some just to well put in some more interest and uh, really create a little more depth especially here in the foreground so yeah then uh, it's the sharpening layer which I removed most of the sharpening here in the water and then I increased the yellows a bit more in the highlights just to give it a bit more of that golden light really and to finish it off I took and made the uh, well the shadows a little bit cooler so so that would bring out uh, well more of a color contrast in the image between the um, well the golden the yellow and the blues so yeah that's it for that picture let's go to the next one the next one is this picture um, 
as you can see here is kind of flat in the histogram it's looking okay but most of it is kind of in shadow anyway so this is the Lightroom edit that I did here so as you can see I increased the color temperature a little bit just because I wanted the rocks to be a bit more neutral not be too blue and I could always add in a bit more of the color in the sky in Photoshop afterwards I increased the exposure a little bit and I really try to flatten out this image even more because I put it in landscape uh, camera profile uh, if you see here <laughs> without the camera profile it's really really flat but the landscape profile really added a lot of what it would have to do with dodging and burning and uh, things here in the foreground so i really like that so that's the reason why i have to flatten it out a bit more than usual here i applied the lens corrections and i also added a bit of dehaze you have to remember remember that it was a really hazy day so it was a lot of um, well, atmosphere distracting from the from the well from the background so I could apply quite a lot of dehaze before it to actually look normal yeah. so it doesn't look that crazy even though I applied quite a lot of dehaze I also reduced the detail the sharpening to zero because I had that in Photoshop um, yeah so that's it for Lightroom so I opened that in Photoshop as well here um so as you can see there it is and first again i healed removing it some spots and you can see the whole area here i kind of removed the grass i thought it was kind of distracting i think it's a lot cleaner when you remove or when i remove that and then it's a pro contrast layer just adding back some contrast and a lot of uh, the dynamic contrast bring out well a lot more interest here in the foreground and then again we have skylight filter just adding in some color here in the sky and then I have an Orton effect on top of that but then um, the highlights got a bit blown so I brought them down just a little bit and uh, then we have a sharpening layer again and then I adjusted the highlights color just a little bit so that we can get away from the almost white that we have here more towards a pinkish uh, purplish magenta glow I guess uh, here I also brought out a bit more of the green and the brightness of the moss that's in the rock think I really like this kind of moss and I well it brings a bit more interest to the foreground uh, and then I reduced this like magenta haze or color on the foreground to make it a bit more neutral so yeah and lastly I added a dodge and burn layer where I really try to make the foreground a bit more dynamic so and also well i darkened a little bit of this background here um so yeah that's it for that image in photoshop so i also want to show you what i did after i brought the images back into lightroom i usually i finished them off in Lightroom uh, so what I did here was actually to straighten the image up a bit and I brought the blacks down and the whites up so that well so that it, we have the whole so that we have the whole histogram covered I also brought down the whole exposure just a tiny bit because I thought it was going a bit too bright and I also added um, 
a bit of warmth, a bit of more yellow in the split toning to the highlights so that it goes from, well, even more golden because I didn't think it was golden enough. Not as golden as I remember, as you probably saw in the video, it was it was like a sea of golden color. <laughs> anyway, that's it for that picture. So that picture is now done. I've already published it. Um, and here is this one. Uh, here, I guess I didn't really do too much. Or did I? Yes, I changed the tone curve just a little bit. And um, I tried on cropping as well, but I really like the foreground, so I'm not going to crop it. I just want to show you the difference between using tone curves or pushing up the whites. Sometimes uh, using the curves can really achieve something greater. So here we have the white points. Really pay attention to this part. You can see here when I brought the white points up just to cover the whole histogram, you can see it's really white. But using the curve Instead, I can retain some of the details, but still gaining a complete coverage of the histogram. So, yeah. So that's it for both images. I hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, what do you think of this format as compared to the other one? Do you like, do you like this quicker one? Uh, it's not as thorough, you don't get to see everything I do, but I hopefully explained it somewhat okay. So leave some feedback on what you think about this kind of format as compared to the other one and what you prefer to see in the future. Anyway, that's it for me this time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.